So good morning. It is day two, and it is currently 8:40 in the morning. Oh, my phone went off, but uh, yeah, 8:40 in the morning. So today is a very busy day. I have three clients to film for. I also have to come home and do some editing, and then I also have to try and find time to collect my car from the garage if it's ready to go. The main thing I'm trying to remember right now is that challenges are going to happen. Things are going to get in my way, and I think if I miss one or two things uh, during this 90-day challenge, to say if I get 8,000 steps and not 10,000 steps or I drink seven cups of water and not eight cups of water a day like it's not the end of the world just keep pushing through I'm not going to consider that a fail I'm just going to say that we missed one day or we missed something off very slightly one of the days but we're going to keep pushing through because at the end of the day if one thing slips and I let the whole thing go there is basically no point to even starting this whole challenge I'm super tired by the way if you couldn't tell <laughs> Yesterday actually felt really good, like as much as it was day one, like I literally have my habit tracker just here in front of me and I'm looking at the fact that yesterday, even with how busy I was, I got 10,000 steps in, 8 cups of water, an hour of exercise, I read 10 pages of a book and I journaled before bed and I can see why people do this shit every day, like it just felt really nice to do that stuff. What I mean is I just felt very accomplished by the end of the day. So I have to leave to go and meet my client in the next like 40 minutes. Uh, thankfully, it's only around the corner from where I live. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two cups of water now to kickstart my day. Small bit to eat. Um, I actually took my weight this morning, like they treated us there a few minutes ago. So my weight is currently 62.4 kilograms. So I'm going to note that into my diary. I'm probably going to check my weight about once a week, if not twice a week. I think it's just good for me to be keeping track anyway. So I think I'll be weighing myself once a week, probably after or before my morning runs on the Mondays. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, or this is your first time watching my 90 day challenge, this is day two, and every day I'm aiming to hit 10,000 steps, eight cups of water, one hour of exercise, read 10 pages of a book, and journal every day. And then every Monday, I'm gonna go for a sunrise slash 6 a.m. run. So let's get into day two. I think it's quite annoying that basically the camera equipment that I'm now using for my YouTube channel, I also use for my clients. So I literally have to film really quickly so I can go charge these mics so I can use them at my client shoot and then clear out my SD card so I can also use that at my next client shoot. So I've probably got to get some stuff that I can just designate to YouTube. Like I have my Osmo Pocket, but I'm not the biggest fan for vlogging with it. I don't mind doing Instagram Reels with it. I like doing Instagram Reels because it kind of has the same kind of quality for stuff um, in that regard. But for YouTube, I kind of want to stick to this. I probably will have to go between this and the Osmo Pocket for YouTube but mainly I want to stick with my Sony for YouTube. This is going to be my cup. I think this is a big enough cup for a cup of water. Like, it's nearly the size of my head. So this is how I'm going to measure my cups. going to have eight of these a day. And, uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. I actually feel much more energized this morning because of how much water I drank yesterday compared to the day before. So let's start with two of these to kick off our day. Okay, my mics are charging, so the audio is probably a little bit different. But anyway, slunch it. Yeah, I can't drink water that fast, so... Um... I've been I've started to drink. That's all you need to know. I'll have one more of these. I'll finish this one. I'll have one more of these so. Okay, quick little update. So I'm currently on the way to my second client shoot. Um, it is 25 to 1 So I am already exhausted. I went home had a very quick bite to eat literally just had like a fucking Two pieces of toast and some ham like that's all we had time for and um, so I'll be at this shoot from 1 p.m to 2 to 3 p.m and then I'll be going straight home and I'm gonna try probably get like a home workout done today. I don't think I'll have time to get to the gym because I have another client shoot at eight, but I also have uh, editing to get done. So I'll probably just do like a home circuit and just a little kind of body weight exercises mixed with like a little bit of light weights, maybe some pull-ups. But uh, yeah, let's go get this second client shoot done and out of the way. Um, I already need coffee. I've been off caffeine since last September and it stays like these where I'm like, just give me a monster please. but. I'm refusing to go back to it just yet, just yet anyways. Okay, so second client shoot done. We are now heading back home. It is currently 20 past three. Uh, funny story, we basically got locked into the venue as we were due to leave. Like we actually finished up filming early, which is a, a new one for me. And uh, as we went to leave, the door was shut. So we were like, nice. So we spent about 15 minutes in there locked up. Um, now I have to go collect my car. Um, this evening so my car's been in the garage past couple of days and I've had like just a, a one to use for the for the days that I didn't have my own car so I have to figure out how to get to my car and then also get to my last client shoot of the day but I also have to go home and edit and try fit in a workout at the same time so we've got a busy day today it's a little bit stressful but we're gonna work through it so again 20 past 3 now get home for about maybe 20 to 4 uh, 3 40 for those who aren't great with time and uh, have a bite to eat do some editing sort out my lift to get my um, my car back this evening and get a workout in if we can. So I also try to get my steps in as well. Today is a busy day. 
Okay, so right now it is 4.42. Um, I just finished up eating. I ended up getting one of those, like uh, Pure Power Nutrition is the brand here in Ireland. Uh, just like a ready-made meal, but like a good, kind of good one, not like a shitty, shitty one. Don't be wrong, I know they're all kind of shitty in their own way, but this one had, I think, like 42 grams of protein, and like 500 calories, so good stuff, good stuff. So I've now finished up two client shoots for the day. Um, I have one more left, but I also have to go collect my car from the garage. It just got fixed, so I actually have to cycle to my mom's house. I don't know what way I said that, I actually have to. But I actually have to cycle to my mom's house because I can't use the other car, because if I bring the other car, then I can't bring it home. So I'm gonna cycle over to my mom's house, which is about a 35 minute cycle. She's gonna bring me to the garage. I'm gonna get my car, come home, and then sort out some way to get that bike back during the week. So I thought I'd have time to get a workout in before I left, but I really, really don't. So what I'm gonna do is go get my car, come home. I think I'll be home at about seven o'clock. And then I will try to get a workout in, very small one, before I go to my third client of the day and final client, thank God. Because once I get home, I'm gonna have to edit and then I'm gonna have to get my steps in as well. So I'm trying to figure out a way to you know maybe try work out for like 30 minutes a day and also get my walks in or my runs whatever because i feel like if i just keep using walking as an excuse for my hour of exercise it still ties in with my steps don't get me wrong cardio is still good but i want to make sure i'm also getting decent bits of you know like um hypertrophy training i think it's called but you know what i mean like working out with weights and body weight and stuff like that because if i just stick to cardio and don't work on any of my muscles then there is no point of this entire fucking transformation so um yeah i'm gonna make sure i get some type of workouts in during the week whether that's you know body weight workouts or in the gym or whatever it is i can't just keep using oh, i'm gonna go on a walk for an hour and that's what i'm gonna do for my workout today because it's not workout it's cardio but don't get me wrong, some days I will need a rest day and that's what I'm gonna do. My one hour of exercise will just be my walk and get my steps and that's okay. I just really wanna make sure I stick to this challenge and to this routine because if I start putting in stuff that's gonna make me hate it, like an hour of you know intense workout every day, I would just hate it and it's not good for my body either because I don't get the rest. So by doing it in a way that I know I can attain it and I can actually keep it up and not drop it out halfway through is the best way for me to do it. So if that means, you know, maybe two or three days of the week, if I need to go for an hour of walking as my exercise, I will do that. And if people want to slander me in the comments for it, it's absolutely fine. Whether I go for a walk or an intense workout for an hour, it's still good for my body. And that's the main thing with this challenge is to try and get healthier habits. So right now I'm going to cycle to my mom's house, hopefully go collect my car, make sure everything is all good with it. And then once I come home, if I have a little bit of time to do a workout, I will, because there's probably no point in me editing because I'll probably have to leave about half an hour after I come home anyways. So I think I'll leave my exercise until I come back from my final client shoot of the day, um, just to make sure I can get my steps in, enjoy a little bit of a workout and then do editing for the rest of the night before I go to bed and have another long day tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next morning and before I get started on the day three vlog, I want to put this little clip in. So I failed yesterday. I didn't get my steps, I didn't get my water, I didn't get my hour of exercise, didn't read my book, didn't journal. And I've been debating since last night whether or not to just completely restart this challenge, to scrap it and start on Monday, because it's currently Friday right now. But then I was like, let me actually see how much I did yesterday. So yesterday I got 9,385 steps. I drank about four to five cups of water and I did 45 minutes of exercise. Now I didn't read my pages and I didn't journal. And I was kicking myself up the ass for that, but realistically I still did something. So I had such a stressful day yesterday in regards to client shoots and so much stuff going wrong with my car. So basically my car broke about six weeks ago. I've been saving up for six weeks to get it fixed. I brought it in on Monday to the garage. It was supposed to be fixed same day. And when I drove it home on Monday night, Tuesday morning, I started having issues with it. The car stopped at a traffic light. It wouldn't move off. Um, I went into second gear and it only stayed in second gear, leaving my friends estate. Like a lot of dangerous shit was happening with my car after I just paid so much money to get it fixed because it was a gearbox issue, so it was not cheap. I had to get a whole new unit put in. So he told me it'd be fixed on Tuesday, most likely same day again, and I only went to go and collect it yesterday, which was Thursday. And when I went to collect it, he brought me to the mechanic that fixed it, and the mechanic said, yeah, what? perfect, it's been driving for 30 minutes, no issues, no blinking light, nothing. And that's how I know there's an issue with my car. The gear and the spanner will blink, showing gearbox issue. So he said, the light didn't come on, don't worry about it, she's perfect to drive, just make sure to come and get it serviced every two or three years for the gearbox and we'll make sure she's squeaky clean. Then I went out with the owner to my car to make sure everything was good, we turned the car on and within a minute, the spanner and the gear was blinking. Which means my car is now back in the garage, I didn't get to take it home last night and I don't know when it's going to be fixed, so that caused me so much stress. And I had to go straight from the mechanic to my next client and just try to keep my head as calm and still as I could. So as much as I failed yesterday by not getting everything done, as in 10,000 steps, eight cups of water, one hour of exercise, read 10 pages and journal, I still did a lot considering the circumstances. At the end of the day, this challenge is all about building better habits. So as much as I didn't reach my goal yesterday, I'm not gonna hold it over myself and just completely stop because what is the point in that? So the way I see it is I didn't reach my goal yesterday, but we're gonna try again today. And that's the mindset I'm gonna bring for the next 87 days of this challenge. So I'll see you tomorrow.